Boeing still have a future with KLM? While the Airbus A350-900 and A350-1000 have been selected over the Boeing 787-10, another Boeing aircraft still remains in the picture, the Boeing 779. Unlike the direct competition between the A350 and the 787-10, the 777-9 serves a different role in long-haul fleets. Historically, KLM relied heavily on the Boeing 747-400. The airline's iconic blue jumbo jets were a familiar sight at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport for decades. However, after retiring its 747 fleet, KLM never fully regained the lost passenger capacity. The A350-1000 is a large aircraft, but the Boeing 777-9 is even closer in size to the retired 4747, making it a strong candidate for future fleet expansion. Given KLM's past reliance on the 747, the 7779 could offer an ideal balance of capacity and efficiency. Another major factor influencing fleet decisions is airport slot constraints. KLM's hub at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport operates under strict government regulations, limiting the number of takeoffs and landings per year. Currently, the cap stands at 500,000 aircraft movements annually, but there are discussions about further reducing this number to combat noise pollution and environmental concerns. If these restrictions tighten, KLM may need larger aircraft to maintain passenger capacity while operating fewer flights. The Boeing 777-9, with its high seating capacity and fuel-efficient design, could be an ideal solution for these challenges. To understand KLM's potential interest in the 777-9, it is important to examine how its A350 order is structured. If a significant portion of the order consists of smaller A350-900s, it might suggest that KLM is keeping its options open for a future 777-9 acquisition. However, if most of the order is for the larger A350-1000, it could indicate that KLM is fully committing to Airbus for its high-capacity needs, leaving little room for Boeing's wide bodies. KLM's shift from Boeing to Airbus was driven by multiple factors, including aircraft range, pricing, and availability. Airbus presented a compelling case with the A350, particularly given its fuel efficiency and long-term operating costs. However, Boeing still has an opportunity to re-enter KLM's fleet with a 7779, especially if KLM faces increased slot limitations at Schiphol. The decision will ultimately depend on KLM's long-term strategic needs and how it plans to manage growing passenger demand while dealing with operational restrictions. Only time will tell whether Boeing can make a comeback in KLM's long-haul operations. Until then, aviation enthusiasts and industry experts will be watching closely as KLM's fleet strategy continues to evolve. Stay tuned for more updates on this ongoing development.